Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to Keeping Fish Simple. So in today's video, we're gonna be doing the third part of my How to Build a Fish Room series. And in today's video, we're gonna be discussing the plumbing. I've got all of these tanks behind me, which you see are not filled with water. And today we're gonna to be trying to get some of them filled up with water. So I'm gonna be going through the whole plumbing system of my, um, I guess, facility and the way it works. So uh, without any further ado, let's get started. And I'll show you guys what I've currently got set up and the way it works and what we're gonna be setting up today. Um, but yeah, it should be pretty fun. Okay, so I've explained this system before in a couple of other videos. We're going to quickly explain it again. And the way this works is there's a big up pipe that's behind this matten filter that goes up behind the matten filter. The water comes in with these little sprinkler feeders, fills up the tank, and then the excess water flows over the top of that. Now that collects in these gutters, which goes down over to this end bit to a main collection point out there and basically into the storm water line. Now, it gets a bit tricky because we don't have much space underneath here. So you can see there's all these little feeds and stuff like that that go into here, which were very hard to make. And, you know, I would have liked to have made it a little bit easier on myself, but I just didn't have the space to do that. So it's a bit of uh, a square onion scenario here. I've never seen it before, but um, it works for the moment. I might upgrade in the future these pipes to a little bit bigger size, but at the moment it doesn't really matter. So basically what we're going to be doing today is the exact same thing on these tanks. So we're a bit lucky here because there's not as many aquariums. So it makes it a little bit easier to do. And sorry for the mess because I've got to clean this up today as well. But we've got to make those collection points underneath each of these tanks. which you can see, I've already put the bulkheads in and then connect them down and to here. So let's get started on doing that. Okay, so I've just finished making a few of these parts, but we've run out of materials, so I'm not gonna be able to finish this today and fill up the tanks. I'm gonna quickly give you guys a real in detail explanation of how this works. So you guys can see basically the idea right here. There's a big strainer up the top here. There's like a coupling thing that I had to put here because that was the wrong size, so that's all right. It doesn't look too bad. And then it goes down, it screws into the bulkhead. The bulkhead collects it in this gutter where it goes down out into my storm water line which is like underneath all these aquariums which was very complicated to build. I don't even want to go in depth on how hard that was to build. I just, I don't know, I thought that uh, it was going to be easy having like all this guttering underneath 100 mil space which obviously it wasn't so we had to get the plumber in and the plumber sorted it all out and now it's all working perfectly fine. So all the water feeds into there and then it goes out to the storm water line basically out into storm water. So, What's really important here is actually this Teflon. So you have to cover up these threads, which I'll show you guys down here. These threads, right? At the start on all the uh, two foot tanks over here, I just put these in and I screwed them in and I didn't have any Teflon and they were leaking. So uh, that's not good because I'd come back and the tanks would be a little bit more empty every single day. So I had to fix that up and I had to put some Teflon on it. Now Teflon, um, just keeps the water from getting out of that thread and getting through it. So that works really, really well. But you guys can see my, ba basically the idea here. So I've got to do this for all the aquariums and then we can turn it on and fill them all up, which I'm very, very excited to do. But the plumbing's pretty straightforward. You just got to make sure you've got a bunch of slope going down so the water gets down to the end and down into the gutter. And yeah, if you have it without the grade and slope down, um, you're going to have floods and it's just going to be an absolute nightmare for you. So. You can see we've really made something out of nothing here. I think um, this is such a small space and to have achieved what we have, it's pretty amazing. So, um, I mean, yeah, I'm pretty impressed with how far we've gotten with this. So, I don't know, there's not much more to the system than what I've just explained. I hope you guys have learned something from that or it's become useful for you guys if you're gonna build a fish room. So that's just how I've done it. Um, obviously, there's a million ways to do it and my way obviously isn't the only way to do it, but for me, this is definitely the best way to do it. So. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.